An identity also requires some belonging. Right? You have to belong somewhere. I was born into a Jewish family. I belong to the Jewish nation. Now, it so happens that part of my upbringing was such with a uh, belief in God and belief in Torah and, oh, okay. But there's some people who may not have that orientation, but they have to realize you can't live without belonging somewhere. And belonging to the Republican Party or the Democratic Party isn't enough. I've seen kids go into uh, drugs because they wanted to belong with the druggies. Right? Uh, I've seen people go into gangs to have an identity. I've seen people commit crimes right, in order to have an identity, I'm a criminal. Right? What am I? I've got to be something. Right? So I think that uh, a person born into Jewish family should, first of all, uh, investigate what does Jewishness have to offer. Uh, there are things that he may find that, he, that displeases him. That's fine. But too many people cast it away uh, and they say it's an obsolete religion. Uh, uh, there's no reason for all of these rituals, etc., etc. And some run off to the Orient to find something over there, right? Without having looked in their own backyards for it. Okay? Now, you know the famous story with, with the uh, person who had a dream. He had a dream that under the bridge in Prague, uh, there was a buried treasure. He was living in a little hut in some town in Russia. And he told his wife, I've had this dream again and again. I got to go for that treasure. She said, what are you crazy? Go to follow a dream. Anyway, he couldn't get it out of his system, so he finally went to Prague. But he couldn't dig under the bridge because the guards were all, the police were around. But he hung around there, and finally one of the policemen says to him, what are you doing hanging around here all the time? He said, look, I'll tell you the truth. I've had this dream that there's a treasure buried under there. He said, you believe in those dreams? I've had a repeated dream that in a little village in Russia, there's this little hut, and there's this treasure buried under that. That's this guy's way, where this guy lives, right? So he went back to his house, and he dug up the house, and he found the treasure in his own house. And the moral of the story is, you can always think that the treasure, treasure is someplace else. The treasure is right within you, right? But you have to look for it. And I think when people run off to the Orient to find exotic religions, before they've had a chance to investigate what is their birthright, what did they inherit from their, uh, what, what is their heritage, I think it's a serious mistake. Right? Now, if, if they've investigated and, and then decided that they want some other religion, I can't agree with that, but I understand what they did. But 99% of people have never even given uh, any serious thought to the wealth of wisdom that there is in Jewishness, to the wealth of spirituality that there is in Jewishness.